Hi, welcome back to Grains in Small Places, and if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Kara, and I'm here to talk to you today about the one kitchen tool that I get the most questions about, and that is my mixer. This is the Bosch Compact Mini Mixer, and as you can see, it is extremely lightweight. I believe it's under five pounds. I use this mixer pretty much every day. I used to use my KitchenAid Artisan, which is also a mini mixer of some sort, um, and I found that it just was not kneading the dough like I wanted it to for some of my fresh milled doughs. So let me get into this review on the Bosch Mini Mixer and show you some of its features and some of the details around it, and I'll also go over some of the accessories. So follow along and you'll find out if I give this mixer one or two thumbs up. Okay, so first I'm just gonna go over the basics with my Bosch Compact Machine. These little suction cups here help to stick to the counter so that when I'm working on it, it doesn't fall off or wiggle or jiggle. <laughs> um, and then this is the button that I push to make the arm go up and down so that I can change the position of that when I want to put my bowl in or take my bowl out. And then this is where the cord stores, so it's nice and convenient. It just all wraps up right around here. It's actually a pretty um, decent length. I can put it on my counter and have it go pretty far away as opposed to my old mixer. And it just wraps up pretty easily around the little thing back here. And what's kind of cool about this mixer is it has three drives. So this is the top one. This is for when I want to use my blender attachment. So when I got this mixer, I actually purchased it straight from Nutramill and I got the blender for basically 10 bucks. <laughs> um, and the combo deal that they offer is probably the best one I've seen. It's actually better than Amazon's price. So I could put a link below for you if you're interested in checking out that discount price. It's under $150 and it comes with this blender attachment. And this is one of our favorite things. We just like putting our favorite juice and some ice together and blending it all up and making kind of like a little slushy. Um, I also love to use this for salad dressings and smoothies. As you can see, it handles the ice with no problem. And then there's two other drives as well. There's this top one here that kind of slides off. And I use that for my slicing and shredder attachment. And that pops right onto there and it actually will slice or shred right into the bowl. Here we're using it to shred some Parmesan cheese. That's actually one of the things we love most about it is we will shred cheese so I can buy the blocks. And you can also grate carrots and vegetables. This is just an amazing attachment. This one I did add on when I made my purchase. This attachment does come with three different blades. One is a fine shredding blade, a coarse shredding blade, and a slicing blade. Okay, and now I'll show you the speed dial. There is this little P with an arrow. This is the park feature. And then I have one through four on the speeds that it can go. And now for my mixing bowl. If you can see here, this little area, that is the part that goes into the base of my mixer. I'll show you the little slot here. This is one of the features I love the most. <laughs> With my old KitchenAid mixer, my bowl would always get stuck when I was done kneading bread and mixing, and I would have to call some reinforcements in to help me take the bowl off. Um, I just could not ever get it unlatched from the bottom. And as you can see with this bowl, I'll show you, it just kind of slides right into the mixer and right out of the mixer with no struggles. And as far as mixing attachments go, this is the mixing paddle. You would use this one for bread doughs and kneading. It just slides right in and it has this little cover to help from getting dough up in the drive. And the bowl has a little raised area in the middle, which helps the kneading process. So as it mixes the dough 
in the bowl it pushes against that little raised area which helps knead the dough even smoother all right and this is another attachment i'm very grateful for it's my second bowl as you can see the bottom has the same notch in it and the center has the same raised area this one is the metal bowl so it does really well with putting cold things in it if i need to make whipped cream i can put this in my refrigerator to keep it cold and i also love to make cookies in this bowl and here is my beater I use this attachment to make whipped cream or beat egg whites and make frostings any of those things it does a fantastic job and this is my cookie paddle so I will use this one to cream butter and sugar together to mix my cookies all of those things you can see me using pretty much all of these accessories and attachments in most of my videos on the YouTube channel here. Go ahead and click subscribe and that way you'll be able to not miss another video that I have coming out. And here is that blender attachment that I was showing you earlier. As you can see the bottom here has the little input for the drive for the top of the blender. And all of the accessories are machine washable in the dishwasher so that's pretty convenient. And in case you didn't see how he put it on there before, it just kind of goes right on the top of this and you slide it and it locks it into place. It has a lid that seals. It has this little built-in funnel that also comes out for quick and easy cleaning and you can use that to pour in liquids or making emulsions. And here is the blade. It does a pretty nice job chopping things up. And the blender itself has a little spout here so that you can pour right out of it. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the shredder slicer attachment. This attachment I purchased separately. It has a little thing to push your food through the chute here. And the slicer can also be used with your bowl where you can take carrots and shred them directly into your cake batter if you're making carrot cake or carrot muffins super convenient and handy there and I'll show you the three blades that come with the slicer attachment this is the fine blade and then this is the coarse blade and this is the slice blade these are very sharp <laughs> and all of these parts can be removed for easy cleanup as well I wrote a nice article on my website at grainsandsmallplaces.net that talks all about this and the accessories and what comes with it when you buy it and coupon codes for discount purchases and things like that. I will put a link in the description for you to the post that I'm talking about and also the discount and coupon code links. The bowls that come with this mixer are four quart bowls and they hold up to six pounds of dough. It comes with a plastic bowl, but the metal bowl is a separate purchase. And the mixer itself weighs about five to six pounds. It's super lightweight. I love it so much because I used to lug around my KitchenAid mixer, which was very heavy. And this is just the little splatter guard that comes with the plastic bowl and mixer and it I hardly ever use it but it is there and it has a little pour spout for convenience okay so back to that park function that I was talking about on the dial see how the paddle doesn't want to rise up from the bowl it's kind of pushing against the the bowl here if you push it to the park it will automatically put it into a place that it can easily be lifted and lowered so it's very convenient to have that feature. Sometimes I forget to use it, but it's not a big deal. It reminds me just because it doesn't want to come out. So, And this is an orbital mixer. So as you can see it going around, it's kind of mesmerizing to watch actually, as opposed to the KitchenAid that just kind of spun my dough around in a circle. The KitchenAid is still a good mixer. I'll give it a thumbs up because it still earns a place here because we use it for pasta. But this mixer outperforms my KitchenAid pretty much every time. There are at least two other attachments that I don't have yet and that is the food processor and the juicer and there may be some other attachments floating around as well. And at the time of this recording they have a really great sale on their site. I'll put a link below. You can get the mixer with the bowl, all three paddles, and the blender attachment all for $139. I hope you get to take advantage of this sale because it is an amazing deal.
So as you can see, I really do love my little mixer here, and it does deserve the two thumbs up. I hope you found some value in this review, and if so, please give me a like and maybe subscribe. That way you can find out any other reviews I have coming up and all of my recipes and baking tips and tricks. Also, you can check out my blog at grainsandsmallplaces.net. Thank you so much for stopping by Grains and Small Places. Goodbye. Uh, uh,